Furry IRL 2nd Edition. Let's go. Is that Moist Critical? That's an image I wasn't expecting to see here today. Even the local deities become obsessed with phones and the yeah, social media brain rot. It is kind of funny though, like, to think, like, because a lot of fantasy based things seem to, like, take place in, like, a medieval kind of time period. So it's always interesting to think of what if all of those things existed the way they did, but, like, in 2023, or soon to be 2024. I don't know, I feel like that would be really interesting. Or probably just boring, because it would be the exact same, I don't know. It was? I've never played Lethal Company, and I think I watched, like, only one video on Lethal Company because Corey Coyote happened to post it, and that's, like, one of the only furries I seem to really follow anymore. If you can even really call them a furry, I thought they said they, like, quit being a furry, but then proceeded to use, like, their furry avatar for everything. I don't know. Yeah, that is a interesting thing to learn today. Yeah, I've experienced this. I've experienced this with cleaning my room. Although usually it's not them saying I better be doing them doing it right or anything like that. Usually the thing that ends up making me stop is when they're like, oh your younger brother needs to help you because me and my younger brother share a room still which is annoying. And unfortunately he's kind of an idiot so whenever he helps it actually gets worse Oh, I've seen this before. I've never seen an actual video on it though. Yeah, I've, I've seen this before. I saw this a couple years ago, and then it just kind of disappeared. These kind of things always exist for like a week, and then just kind of disappear out into like nothing. And like nothing ends up actually happening with it ever. So it's interesting seeing it pop up again. Maybe it's slowly becoming relevant again. I'm not gonna lie. On. Christmas, this is what I would prefer people to do most of the time. I don't know, for some reason my parents seem just super against getting, like, gift cards or something, because, like, they have to get, like, just something, even though if, even if they have no clue what to get. It's caused them to get a lot of, like, downgraded things of things I already have, which makes me question why they're so unaware of what I already have, because they, it's not like they never go in my room, they're in my room pretty often. So they should know the what's sitting on my desk, considering it's not like hidden. I don't know. I can't. I don't. I don't want to like talk about that too much because it's like I make myself sound super ungrateful, <laughs> which is not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> you know, this is this is how it would go for me, because. Most of the movies I like are, like, pretty horrible. I guess I, I shouldn't describe them as horrible. Saving Private Ryan is not a horrible movie. But I like a lot of horror stuff, even though a lot of horror stuff is pretty stupid and garbage. Like, I will never understand why The Conjuring 2 ended up as bad as it did and yet still has seemingly good review... Good, uh, I can't English. Seemingly is viewed as a good horror movie, even though it was garbage. <laughs> It's like, I'm not allowed to pick movies anymore, because all the movies I like are things nobody else really seems to want to watch. Who put those light- who designed that light setup and was like, yes, this- this is a good idea. This is a good idea for a Christmas display. Who- who- just who? I completely missed that this was- a character AI until like I got to the very bottom of all this text. I don't know how I completely missed everything else up here. The g degeneracy of furries has gone so far to the point where they're making AIs want to kill themselves. That's that's crazy. Man, he got so annoyed he killed him. That's crazy. I'd probably do the same thing. This is one thousand two hundred dollars. My dad's entering furry bars now as well. Apparently, I didn't realize that. And yo, loud sounds, surely this is gonna be hilarious. Alright, cool, it wasn't hilarious. My god, the Roblox noob. Ah, uh, why does this almost feel like a call-out? I wouldn't call anyone daddy, that's not something I do. But like, I am very short. 
and I do look significantly younger than most other people my age. I'm currently 19, and a lot of people still mistake me for being 15, so like... <laughs> One person even went as far as asking why I was in the high school, but I think they were just being an asshole. You know, I'm sad. We didn't get candy canes in my house for this exact reason. Although I think last year someone did genuinely get in injured because of one of these things. I'm not gonna lie with how slow I can be sometimes when I initially wake up. If I were in a situation like this, I probably, like, wouldn't care when I initially woke up. Like, I don't think it, I don't think it would click in my brain until after the other person has also woken up but then by that point it's super awkward so i wouldn't be able to say anything anyways <laughs> and honestly i probably wouldn't question it that much and would end up just continuing on with my day <laughs> which is probably really bad but that's just how bad my social anxiety can be sometimes where it's like you know what i don't want to say anything i don't care <laughs> i'm not gonna question it uh, this is how it feels with my dad sometimes. So, all of my siblings are boys. So, my dad calls the house the house of man. <laughs> so, if any of us ever, like, aren't, like, just manly, <laughs> this is pretty much exactly how it is. For example, my older brother was literally just sitting down with his legs crossed. And my dad goes, Oh, stop, act stop sitting like a girl. I don't care enough to question the logic behind that but whatever i'm not gonna lie part of me kind of likes some better ripped if i ever get these maybe i'll do that on purpose i mean not rip them up to the point where they're destroyed and unwearable but like i don't know is no one else gonna point out that this isn't a protogen or at least doesn't look like it oh wait no that is the visor i thought that was a horn i am retarded <laughs> i was looking at this part right here thinking that was like a horn or something and their head was like facing that way i'm i'm now realizing that is the uh visor this is their eye of course it's the same color as the hair i usually cut me being stupid like that out but i need to start leaving it in more often because people probably would find it funny why is there so many nsfw ones again there's been like nine so far it's ridiculous how is this marked as NSFW? I don't get it. The furry fandom has rotted my brain so much to the point where any time I see this kind of image with the words get in anywhere in the image, my brain immediately is like, ah, vor joke. I mean, you can call this hoodie vor, I guess. I don't fucking know. Someone's into that somewhere. You know, I, I don't know why, I saw they lifted this leg and I suddenly noticed their tail and I thought their foot came off. <laughs> Dear lord. I wish videos didn't automatically play. <laughs> the amount of times I've been jump scared by stupid shit like that in just this video alone is ridiculous. You know, unfortunately, I don't even think that's true. There are definitely going to be people out there who are into it. I mean, that one actually is weirdly fitting, so I mean, I'll take that. <laughs> that's crazy, one of these actually was perfect. My friend on Discord would agree, maybe me saying that can summon him again, it happened last time. I feel like I need to make a hyena persona now, I don't actually have one. I have a dragon. A bunny and a wolf. I don't have a hyena though. I can't believe I had to sit and think about what my personas were. That's pretty damn sad actually. Anyways, I think I'm gonna end this one here. I've been going for a while. There were a lot more posts than usual this time around. Uh, and a ton of NSFW ones. Like, so many of them were marked as NSFW. And this time around, the NSFW ones were actually things I feel I can't show on YouTube, so... <laughs> There's a lot of those that are going to need cut out or blurred because some of them I had funny reactions to that I'll probably leave in.